about him in this class we are going to discuss the topic on the topic for the discussion in this class is theory we will try to discuss under this topic what is theory in particular the structure of predin after that again in the structure what type of hybridization is involved in the formation of the links between carbon and carbon carbon and the nitrogen and carbon and hydrogen of predin then we will try to have a discussion on physical properties as usual then chemical properties of predin then finally the applications of predin predin this molecular formula is c5 H5N and this is the structure of protein. We have a lone pair of electron on nitrogen. This is again a lone pair or unshared pair of electron. This lone pair of electron always there over the nitrogen of protein. This will never take part in hype, that is, delocalization. So, uh, the system so called the delocalization of the electrons. And for the atomicity to exhibit, the protein doesn't require this particular lone pair of electron. One of the reasons why the lone pair remains lone pair, and this is the reason why this is called unshared pair of electron or simply lone pair of electron. Now, to have a discussion on how the protein structure is formed, we need to have again the structure. A lone pair is there. This orbital is one of the sp2 orbital of nitrogen. We have a hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. And again we have a hydrogen. This bond is sigma bond. And again this is sigma bond. We have sigma, 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 sigma. And this also sigma, sigma, sigma. This bond is between sp2 sp2 that is sp2 hybridized orbital of carbon and sp2 hybridized orbital of nitrogen one of the sp2 of carbon overlaps with one of the sp2 hybrid, hybridized orbital of nitrogen so that there will be a bond between carbon and nitrogen sorry carbon and another carbon and when you take this case again there is a hybridization takes place between one of the sp2 of carbon and one of the sp2 of nitrogen there will be a bond because each work, the overlap the orbital contains each one electron therefore we need to have just two electrons for the formation of a single chemical bond that to sigma bond that bond that para, that that required electron is there between the overlapped orbitals. This orbital have one electron, this orbital have one electron. This is sp2 orbital, this is sp2 orbital. Therefore, one of the sp2 of carbon overlaps with one of the sp2 of nitrogen. There will be a bond formation between these two. And this leads to the formation of sigma bond. This leads to the formation of carbon and nitrogen. And this one is because of the overlap of sp2 of carbon and S orbital of hydrogen. S orbital of hydrogen. SP, one of the sp2 of carbon hybridized that is overlap with with the uh, as far as hydrogen is concerned that is only one S orbital one S that one S overlap with the one of the sp2 of carbon there will be a formation of a sigma bond between carbon and hydrogen. This leads to the formation of sigma. And this explains the formation of 5 CH bonds in protein. 5 CH bonds in proteins. And apart from this, there is, as I told you, one of the two P orbital of, that is a sp2 hybridized orbital of nitrogen, we have a lone pair left without involving in the hybridization or without involving in the, uh, you know, that is a, overlaps and this hybridized orbital because it contains a lone pair and lone pair of electron this remain over nitrogen as i written here and this is the reason why this is called unshared pair of electron this 
doesn't involve in the formation of this doesn't involve in sharing any type of sharing this remains as unshared data collection and after having the explanation over this each carbon and the nitrogen we have unhybrid that is unhybridized pi orbital is there this in the sp3 there is in the sp2 one is here one is here and another one is here and the fourth hybrid that is unhybridized orbital that is the t2pz orbital both in carbon and as well as in the nitrogen 2pz orbital is there we know that each carbon one electron is left one electron is left thus that particular electron that hybrid that particular pi orbital that contains one electron overlaps and there will be a formation of what we can say pi bonding molecular orbital contains six electrons pi bonding molecular orbital contains six electrons pi bonding molecular orbitals contains six electrons since this particular pi orbital lie above and below the plane of the ring the plane of the ring that nitrogen that is a pyridine lies on one plane all hybridization that involved in the formation of bond between carbon and carbon carbon and hydrogen carbon and nitrogen remain on one plane the reason why the bond angle is 120 and apart from this as i said there is an hybridized orbital of carbon that contains each one electron including the nitrogen that involved in overlaps that p orbital lies above and below the plane of the ring perpendicular to 120 degree the plane where we have the 120 degree angle that p orbital since above and below contains a six electrons that start delocalization delocalizing uh, throughout the ring giving causing you giving you exhibiting so called exhibiting the aromatic property to the nitrogen once you apply the Herpel's rule another criterion to calculate whether the given compound is aromatic or aliphatic simply apply aromatic or not simply apply your Herpel's rule 4 and plus 2 rule you will reach the six electrons as I uh, what uh, there is as far as the benzene is concerned there is a t6 that is a basic we uh, fixed to uh, conclude whether the given compound is aromatic or aliphatic with the help of your Huckel's rule Huckel's rule leads to finally the answer 6 that ultimately reveals that the protein is an aromatic compound with this I am concluding today's discussion you try to have the discussion on the physical properties chemical properties why the pyridine is basic what is the reason behind the basicity of pyridine and finally the applications of pyridine see the board again try to understand the concept pyridine formula is c5h5n and that's that is a basic structure of your pyridine this explains the hybridization in pyridine the type of uh, overlaps what type of uh, hybridization in carbon type of hybridization in nitrogen type of overlaps including the pi bonding molecular orbitals how it is formed the sigma bond how it is formed everything i have explained and i will try to wait in the next class till then take care thank you